hello everyone good morning so I'm making a video today because I brought my laptop here down in the greenhouse yesterday um, but there's no Wi-Fi down here so I don't know how we'll be able to have a Google meet at the greenhouse um, we'll be able to have them at my house so hold on I forgot my key I'm trying to break in so we'll be able to have Google Meets at my house, which is great because I have like a, I just walked in the greenhouse looking at my glasses. Cause I have like a garden and uh, some indoor plants and I'll bring some plants from the greenhouse to my house. Um, so that way you guys can see some plant processes. Uh, but I took this video so that way, at the very least, um, you can see the greenhouse, see the chickens. So this is what our greenhouse looks like right now. This first front table and some of those in the back, these all need to be transferred into hanging baskets. So um, I'd love to do a schedule. If anyone wants to come out to help me, I now have permission. I'm allowed to have one student come down here and help me at the greenhouse at any given time. Um, so let me know, comment below this video if you want to come help transfer plants. The other thing that I need, even when I'm not here, so I'm allowed to have one student here with me, but I come here every single day, except for Sundays, shout out to Madeline Strain. Um, I come here every single day to let the chickens out and water the plants in the greenhouse. I live 30 minutes away. A lot of you live a lot closer. So if any of you can come out here in the morning, um, to help out, comment below. Um, you can also come, I come here twice a day, every day. So I come here in the morning at nine to let them out and I come back in between seven and eight. The closer to the dark, the easier it is to get them in the coop. I come here twice a day, once in the morning, once at night to put them away. So you don't have to do both shifts. You could do one. You could just put them away at night, just put them away in the morning. I'm going to get a schedule together this weekend, but just comment below if you're interested in that so I can put you on a schedule. It has to be the same day every week. You can't just do it one Wednesday and not do it the next. If you pick a morning shift that you plan on being there, you have to do that morning shift every week. If you pick an evening shift, you have to do that evening shift every week. So let me know. For transferring plants, if you want to help me, I'm here at 7 at night and 9 in the morning. So the two shifts for transferring plants will be at 7 at night and 9 in the morning. This is the rest of the greenhouse. We got impatiens, marigolds, uh, snapdragons. Some of our snapdragons are blooming as well. Um, so far, I've maintained the aphids. Um, they haven't gotten on any of our new plants, but they very well could um, because they're still here. They're still in the greenhouse. They won't go away until we tear this greenhouse apart and literally wash it from ceiling to floor. Um, so I always need help. Um, you can come here while I'm here, or like I said, you could do a morning or an afternoon shift. You could do some extra stuff then. My morning routine. I get in, open the greenhouse. First thing I do is let the chickens out and get them some food. So I get this food before I even let them out, so that way I can sprinkle it on the ground, have it ready for them, and they're not losing their minds. Um, I've been collecting about three eggs a day. So we're gonna go see this morning. We got any eggs? Oh, and I have my dog, Socks. Where you at? Hey, Socks. Uh, so if you come down here uh, in the morning or afternoon with me, she's normally here with me. Um, so you're gonna have to be okay with dogs. Like I said, there are shifts where I will not be here. You can take those shifts too, and then you don't have to worry about lay dog. If you do those shifts, the day that you do these shifts for you do not have to do that day's assignment you do have to write a comment at the bottom saying greenhouse and i will you know be around to check and make sure everyone's filling their rotations in coop run looks exactly the same my boyfriend and i are building a new coop right now uh it's 28 degrees some of this water is frozen we got to get some freshy but they have enough water so i sprinkle this food out Basically, I just throw it. Perfect, and now we can let them out. Once they have some food on the ground, watch out. 
same chickens. Our rooster. Oh, that's my dog. <laughs> yes, silly stay. Um, our rooster has learned how to crow. Hopefully, you get to hear it a couple times on this video. Um, it's super exciting. And let's see if we have any eggs. So I just lift up this back one. Doesn't look like we have any today, but when we do have it, they normally lay them right in this top box. It's their favorite box to lay in. They like to poop in all the rest of them. They like to lay in that one. Uh, normally I have two, three eggs in there every morning. No eggs today. I'm gonna stick my head in here. They didn't lay them anywhere else. So, yeah, now they're out. It's basically the first half of what I do in the morning. They're out and about. Excuse me, babies. Hello. We gotta go get them some more water. Fill up their feeder. And it is, it was really cold last night. Um, and a little cold today, so I'll put some cracked corn in their feed. And I put some cracked corn in their feed uh, last night. And so what I'll do, there, there will be two of these videos today. You'll have this one today. And uh, one tonight when I come back. Oh, my glass is fogged up again because I just walked in the greenhouse. <clears throat> so this is just kind of, just kind of showing you my daily, what I do. So that way, if you do decide that you want to come out here and help out, you see the process of what I'm doing. Um, get them food. Let them out. Food's on the ground. They've got one waterer out there that's full. I'm filling this metal one right now. This right here is the domestic water pump. Sorry, this video is so crappy and in selfie mode. Okay, so. Water. Ooh, you hear him? I don't know if you, I don't know. If you can hear him on this, but he's cockadoodle, he's cockadoodling out there. Uh, the other thing that I like to do, so I fill up the water. I will, well, I guess I'll show you. Oh, there's a mess. I don't really care though. Y'all probably know that. So I've got the feeder. They still got a little leftover food in it from yesterday, but it's not dirty. There's like no feathers, no poop, no nothing. So we'll just take my cup in my bag. Eat that. This is not food for you. And we'll fill this up. 